So, you would like to know how to add the health bar to a game object in Unity. Maybe you want to add health bars to the players or other mobs. In that case, you are at the right place. I'm Cory Code and let's jump right in. Health bars are core elements for any games, but it's not obvious how to add to a 3D game object, especially if you are new to Unity. I have created a scene with a movable player using the third person controller as a starting point. If you need how to set that up, you will find the link for that tutorial down in the description. I also prepared two spheres with collider components and trigger set true. They will heal or harm players on entering. First, let's set up our UI element for the health bar. I will create a new canvas and add a panel as a child. And an image as a grandchild. Panels are technically the same as images on the UI, but with the different starting values, so they fit better as a container. Right now our canvas is in screen space overlay mode. Canvases have three different modes. Overlay mode will render the UI on top of the game world, which is great for menus, but not what we are after. Screen space camera mode will render the UI in the game world a set distance from the camera, so 3D objects can be both in front of or behind the canvas and the canvas is attached to the camera. Great for VR, but still not what we need. World space will render the canvas anywhere in the game world and we can attach it to any object. Awesome! That is exactly what we are after. I will select and I will set the width of the canvas to 1 and the height to 0.1 and I will set the position to 0. And I move it up a little bit just above our avatar set. I select the panel and I set the source image of my head bar. If you don't have any specific sprite, a basic grey rectangle will do. Set the anchor point and the position to stretch. You will need to hold Alt and Shift on the keyboard while clicking on the stretch preset. Select your image and set the width to 1 unit, the height to 0.1 unit. Select your image and add the desired source image. Again, if you don't have a specific sprite, then just make a simple red rectangle in your favorite image editor. I will set the anchor point and the position to the right. You need to hold Alt and Shift on the keyboard while clicking on the desired anchor preset. I will fine-tune the position so it fits nicely in the panel. However, I leave the scales on one unit as we will use the scale to adjust the health later. If you run the game now, you will notice the health bar moves with the player correctly, but is always facing forward and in certain angles it is not well visible. Let's fix that quickly by adding a new script to the health bar canvas called look at camera. And let's double click it to open it. I will add a private transform called main camera. In the start method I set the main camera using the find with tag method. The main camera tag should be set by default. You can check it by selecting your camera and chunking the top of the inspector. 
If it would be not set for you, just open the drop down and click add tag. And there you can add a new tag. In the update method, I will add transform look at main camera, which we run every frame and keep the health bar correctly rotated. Let's run it now. That looks a lot better. On our player, let's add the new script called stats controller. And let's double click it to open it. I will add the following public properties. A game object called health bar, so we will able to reference our red hat image. An integer called max health to store the maximum health of the player. And another private integer called current health to store the actual health of the player. Before I forget, let's set those properties in the editor. I will drag and drop the health bar image and I will set the maximum health to 10. I go back to the stats controller and in the start method, I will set the current health to maximum health. We will not need the update method. I will create a hill method with the integer parameter called amount. I will increase the current health with the amount. If new health is more than the maximum health, then I set it to the maximum health to prevent overspill. Here you could also trigger healing particle effects to just mention one. Finally, I call update health bar, which I will implement in a moment. I create a new method in similar fashion called damage. I will lower current health with the amount. I will make sure the current health can't fall below zero. Here you could add heat and death animations respectively. I will call update health bar from here as well. Update health bar method will control the health bar length by scaling the x axis by dividing the current health by the max health. I multiply both values with 1f as I want the result to be a float not an integer. I do not change the Y and the Z axis. Now we are ready to set up the triggers. I create a new script and I name it health effect. And I will double click it. I will not need the start and update methods. I will add only a public integer called health effect. I will add a new private method called on trigger enter the collider parameter called order. This is one of the few built-in event handlers for trigger colliders. Collider order is the collider of the game object which has entered into the trigger area. It is a good practice to check if the order collider is the right one by checking its tag or layer. If the health effect is larger than zero, I call the heal method on the player's stats controller. Otherwise, I call damage. Please notice, while I decide if I should call heal or damage methods depending on the health effect being positive or negative, I pass the absolute value of the health effect to the damage method as it expects a positive value. Let me add the script to both of the spheres. And I set the health effect on the blue ball to minus 2. And the gold ball to 3. Let's test that. If I enter the blue sphere, I get damaged. 
and the gold one heals me. Excellent. Please subscribe to get notified of new videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.